Hey everyone, welcome to Kotlin Tips. Today we are solving the mystery of inline and suspend. This was a small puzzle that I kind of found myself in that I thought would be neat to share. Let's say we have a function that allows us to get a string slowly. So it is a suspending function which delays for one second and then just returns a string. I want to write a small function called print five times, which as you might guess, prints this string five times. But I want this to accept this get string slowly. So the way that I would usually do this is I would probably provide a, some kind of generator argument which doesn't take any parameters and returns a string. And then in the body, all I would want to do is repeat five times uh, printing the value that we get from the generator. The call site for this function um, obviously takes a lambda parameter. And what I would like to do in here would be to get my string slowly. But now you might already be suspecting what the problem is. Well, get string slowly is a suspending function which can only be called from within a coroutine body. And we haven't marked this function to be suspend. And this actually got me wondering, because what I can do in the same situation is I can just write repeat five times. I can essentially inline the body myself, right? So I can just do repeat five and I do print line and I do get string slowly. This works. Why doesn't this work with my function down here? The magic isn't that the repeat function is somehow aware of coroutines. It's actually something else. When we look into it, we can see that this function is marked as inline. And what happens here is that instead of being a real function call that leaves the coroutine body, um, the code that is inside the repeat lambda gets inlined. It gets essentially copy pasted um, in place right here. And that's why the repeat function can do this, but our own function can't. Now the fix is of course pretty easy. We can just inline our own function and then we can allow people to pass a lambda that calls a suspend function. Isn't that cool? We've essentially allowed ourselves to write a function that doesn't know anything about coroutines in itself, but that still allows people to provide a Lambda implementation themselves, which works with their method of concurrency, can suspend and do all these kind of things. So if you are working with Lambdas and you also want to support people to provide suspending implementations for their Lambdas, all you have to do is mark the function as inline. Hope this was helpful for a few of you. See you in the next one.